Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Andrea. For today's video, we are doing a Q&A first, then going over a jam-packed vlog or what I've been up to these past few weeks. Just keep on watching to see the rest of it. Do I prefer CrossFit over the gym? There's this one particular friend of mine that would always, always ask about this, but my honest answer is, and it will always be the gym. I've been weight training for years. I love going to the gym. I love isolating muscle groups and weight training's just been a part of my life ever since. I'm not hating on CrossFit. I love CrossFit as well. It's still new to me and every once in a while I would do CrossFit wads and all of it's fun. The answer is going to the gym and I Matarai. I always get this. The usual first impressions I get are either mean looking, matarai, shy, quiet, or my some sort of mind because I just don't talk a lot whenever I meet someone for the first time. But that's just me probably hungry or not in the mood, but I'm not really mad at anyone. Or I, it's this rest face that I would always have. No excuse because I really am quiet or shy at first glance, but if you do meet me eventually, it will be loud as heck at the same time, and you won't expect it, I swear. Me being loud, the last thing you'll ever know about me. How to de-stress? How do I de-stress? Anything that I think is good for me or I'll benefit from doing it, like working out, reading a book, listening to a podcast, maybe watching a film or whatever I feel like watching, even a documentary, anything that is truly going to calm myself in my mind, even a social detox. So no phone for a week or for a few days, that helps me de-stress. That's good for de-stressing, but whatever you feel like doing, as long as it's not hurting you or it does not pain you or even stress you out even more and just do that if i'm not in the mood how would people know i've always been the silent type of person if i'm not in the mood i don't want to lash out in public or i don't want to go over it with my friends around or anyone i just don't want to let people know that i'm not in the mood until say i'm at home or i'm just really by myself that's where i deal with the anger or rage but not by hurting myself or anything it's more of me meditating or not letting myself get affected with what's angering me or what was the problem even if it was never a big deal shy at first glance but if you hang out with her she's super alone crazy that is true tips or equipment for butt workout if you're at home and you have nothing try to be creative like the chair i'm sitting on you can use it for lunges hip thrusts so you'll go down on the floor and place your feet by the chair if not a chair you can use towels and place them on the floor and use it for side lunges or lunges but on the floor you can also do hip thrusts with a towel if you have equipment basic equipment like a foam roller hip circle or resistance bands dumbbells or kettlebells you can use them for any type of butt workout do the type of workouts that you think will really isolate your bum or butt body weight workouts are important and they really activate your glutes and don't just focus on glutes also focus on your hamstrings your quads and the rest of your muscle group in your legs so that overall you are working on all parts of your lower body if you want it to grow. How do I make ideas? If I get an idea, a random one, or I'm just brainstorming and suddenly something comes up, I write everything down. And from that idea, I don't just base everything from that. It's not just the idea that I created. I make sure that I elevate the idea so there's other branches of that idea that I could possibly work on. Honestly, everything that I get an idea from comes from my personal experiences or I'm just casually talking with a person and then comes out. It just works that way for me. What is my workout split like during the quarantine? I actually have a 
program that I've been doing for the past two years, I think. Day one, it is lower body focus. I also add strength training in this. For Tuesdays, or the second day of the week, I focus on my upper body and core. Next is skills or high intensity, so more of fast paced type of workouts and just really killing my body. At least it's not cardio. And the fourth day of the week is an active rest day or active recovery. Fifth day of the week is lower body again and finally for the sixth day it is upper body and core once again i'm not really strict with my workout split because almost every day i do core work because i've been back in training with my flexibility or doing gymnastics but not the advanced type of training it's more of strengthening my core and my upper body also again my flexibility i stopped training for that now i'm back so i'm back to zero which is fine because i really have to go through it Kidding, how did I learn how to edit? I learned how to edit all the way back in high school. Never I had a homework or anything related with editing videos or creating short films it was a task. I jump right in and do all of it. I wanted to be hands-on on the technical side. I've loved that process ever since. Even when I never really looked at the steps for how to make videos nicely. So my work back then work crap even with the color grading or the audio I did not know what I was doing but I was doing it anyways because I wanted to learn and do them in the future follow-up question why that why not focus on other parts of the industry great question it does seem like I only want video editing or editing in general as my main focus I really want to improve my skills on camera work production design and and other areas. I love everything about film so why don't I explore or really get to know everything else about it and just not focus on one area. How do I keep my bags in place? First of all, I don't. <laughs> it has been difficult to be honest. On a normal day, I just keep my bags away from my face so that it doesn't bother me or every minute or second I fix it. But my tip for letting your bags stay in place is just stick with hair care using natural oils like argan oil, macadamia oil, or coconut oil. Your best friend is a straightener or a curler. If not those, you can always use a hair roller and they work pretty well too. Which of your friends are single? Because, you know, Arthur needs a girl. Um, almost all of my friends are taken, so... He deserves better. She's there, somewhere out there. The type of girl that he'd want to be with. She's probably watching this video right now. What is something that I like that everyone apparently hates? I don't think everyone hates it, but I actually like watching horror or gore movies, the bloody ones. That intrigues me and it's not like I watch them every single day, but there are days when I just feel like watching one or two. I like exploring and being curious about different types of genres and film. Yeah, it just interests me. Also, I don't think, again, that people hate it. It's probably least preferred to be watched, you know? What am I most passionate about? One thing that I'm just so driven and really passionate about is health and fitness. It is self-explanatory, but in general, working out and breaking a sweat is so good for you. It's not really about focusing on getting your dream body, it's more of the responsibility that you will stick with for years. Being passionate about this improves your overall well-being and it's not just your physical health. The second is being passionate about film or the film industry. I will always note this because it is true. I just love everything about film. I love the process. Everything about it. It's just so wonderful and it's so universal and you're never going to stay still with the film. What is my favorite current song? Glitter by Tyler the Creator is my current 
favorite song. Editing tips. I don't want to make this too technical. I'll try to be as simple as possible and summarize everything. First of all, you can't edit without using a software or an editing software. You can actually edit using your phone if you have enough storage or if you have a type of software on your computer. Stick with that. Second is the device that you will use for editing. And if you're using a software like Premiere or Final Cut, try to familiarize yourself with keyboard shortcuts or learn the basics on how to learn how to use the software you chose. That way when you edit, it's a smooth process and you wouldn't take too much of your time, say, going over one video clip at a time. Experiment in color grading. It is time consuming, but the process is fun because you can do whatever. You can color correct in your own way. If you don't want to color your videos on your own, there are LUTs or filters available for you to purchase or there are also free LUTs everywhere. And the music that you will use for your video, don't forget that. Also, you know, use copyright free music. There's just more steps, but I can always make a different video for that on how to edit or how I edit. What keeps me motivated? Firstly, it is the love and discipline that I have and will always have for myself. It won't just shape me as a person, but having self-importance leads to achievements, whether it's big or small. Another thing that keeps me motivated are the people that are a part of my life. I am just proud of every single one of them. Working, grinding, really putting in the work in what they're doing or with the business ventures that, that they're up to right now. And that speaks for me. It doesn't just motivate me. I am also motivated with myself to do my part in working on my own, shaping myself for my future or for the time being now. An advice from me to you, don't stick with people that you know will physically and constantly drain you. Be with people that will help you grow or that will uplift you and just support you with whatever you're doing. How will you stay motivated if you're with those type of people? I guess that's it for this video. So what I've really been up to is, okay, I'm not a baker. My sister throughout the quarantine has taught me how to bake and they're bomb, not gonna lie. I don't think that I can make them as great as she does. I'm just a helping hand and it's a great experience because at least I tried something new. I don't really bake. I mean, I know how to make a protein waffle cake, but that's it. What else have I been up to? Catching up with friends has been a highlight of my quarantine so far. Right now, a few days ago, my friends from elementary visited me again and we just caught up the whole time. Magandang kanta, syempre, in time of COVID, syempre dapat mas light ang ating mood. Tama ba yun? Mas sasagot ka, babe. Tama! Yes, yes, ang bilis talaga ng mga viewers. In three, two, one, one, two, three. <laughs> One big bite. Okay. Ito pa oh. Mukbang is here. Oh, oh. Mine, mine. 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 Welcome to my refrigerator from Samsung. Thank you, Samsung, for sponsoring this Hello? whatever chuba here in the left corner. Okay. No. for the rest of this video. Thank you so much for taking your time on watching this whole video. I made sure that it's a lot and it's not just the Q&A because 
I've been away for two weeks. I haven't been posting. I know most of you are waiting for an update from me at least a new video, and I guess this is it. Thank you guys.